Hello there, geeks. Recently, I got myself into the VTuber rabbit hole and just find the whole concept to be so interesting. If you guys don't know what a VTuber is, a VTuber is an online entertainer who uses a virtual avatar generated using computer graphics and the proof that anime girls and boys can be real. The avatar can be motion capture 2D or 3D models or toggled PNGs with different modes and emotions. There are different reasons why people want to become a VTuber, some people want to stay anonymous online, some are camera shy, or they just simply enjoy the idea of turning themselves into animated characters, in most cases anime characters. After consuming more VTuber content, I want to give this a shot. I'm going to learn how to draw and rig a 2D model on live 2D and become a VTuber. You might be thinking, how on God's scrumptious green earth did you lead to this conclusion? Well, technically, by definition, I've dabbled into the VTuber stuff on my channel before using PNG drawings of myself. The inspiration for this format, well, comes more from YouTube animators, a community that was popular in the earlier YouTube era. Are YouTube animators technically VTubers? I really don't want to get into the conversation right now. I've always liked the idea of being virtual content creator in some way, shape, form. I don't really put much effort in being anonymous, like seriously, you can find my actual face on my website, and I'm not really a camera shy person. I just find it easier to express myself with my drawings and animation because I'm not an expressive person in real life. Also, I don't like to worry about camera setups and lighting and environment setups. I'm all over the place right now, so being virtual helps me get rid of those worries. My point is, it's not that big of a leap for me to become a VTuber. I want to step up my game by creating an awesome and pretty looking 2D models with motion capture. It will also help me with creating more content here, since school really keeps me busy. Since this is my first time making a VTuber model, I want to keep my design simple but also appealing at the same time. I also want to incorporate my art style into it because, to be honest, I don't want to become another anime VTuber. Not that anime is bad, like I'm an average anime enjoyer, it's just that I want to change things up a little bit, putting a little spice into my model. Also, my art style is pretty simplistic, so that would definitely help me when I start learning how to rig. I knew from the start what concept I want. Every YouTuber has their own themes or concepts or backstory. Mine is a mushroom witch who lives in a cozy cottage core cabin in the woods. She's the caretaker of the magical forest where a cute sentient mushroom lives. Despite being secluded from the human realm, she knows surprisingly well about human pop culture and engages in the online world a lot. I think the contrast is quite funny and engaging. All right, let's open this program. First step, open the model. It's pretty simple. Where's the model? And what's all this? Oh, oh, there, there you are. And I already struggled with Live 2D even though I haven't touched the model at all. Uh, how do I move? Uh, how, how do I zoom in? Well, I guess we're gonna use this. Uh, how do I, how do I move around? Where's the hand tool? How, how can I move? Oh. Found, a, Found way a way to zoom. zoom. What is what is all this? You have a layer section and a another layer section. What what does all this mean? Okay, I'm gonna read the keyboard shortcuts. Oh yes, I can finally move. Okay, let's get things started. I started with the eyes first. Eyes are the windows to the soul, so I have to do this right. And I already struggled with the first step of meshing. Where? What? Where's my Where's eyelash? eyelash? What am I doing wrong? After looking around for solutions on the internet, I realized that I needed to allow more space around the object I'm meshing. And then I hit another issue. It seems that I can't auto-connect my mesh, and this mesh stitch keeps popping up. I found a solution pretty quickly, and I continue meshing the eyes. That's not what I want. How can I move? Please let me move. Oh, there we go.
I think eyes are a good way to start because you learn the majority of the stuff in live 2D, such as meshing, warp deformer, keyframes, using deform paths and brush tools, and even jiggle physics with the eyelashes. And here's the first test. I think doing an eye took me about two to three days and my eyes are already very simplistic. It's super helpful that Life 2D has mirroring so I don't have to repeat the tedious process again. However, I ran into another issue. Um, where's my other eye? I didn't center my model. Oh, can't. Okay. Does this work? Nope, and that's not gonna work. You know what? Slow, slow and steady. That's the shortest way to do. Two hours later. I'm almost there. I'm very close, almost there. Five hours later. I think that's good. I think that's good. Next is the mouth which I think is my least favorite part of rigging. I think there was a problem with the way I meshed the mouth, so the meshes were all over the place. And also, lots of keyframes to make, because you gotta make sure your mouth moves correctly in many different forms when you speak. When I started looking for tutorials, I realized that all of them use anime models, which made me nervous and I asked myself whether I should have made my model in anime style instead. However, I didn't have a hard time using my model to learn rigging for the first time, so it turned way better than I expected. I got more and more used to the program and applied my knowledge into the rest of the model. Cue the montage. <laughs> some stuff on VTube Studio, here we go. I, in general, am happy with the results. Like, I did not expect this to go this well. There's some problem with the mouth, as you can see here, but I do it in certain angles, like, yeah. There we go. Um, the meshes are all over the place. This is definitely not gonna be my final background, and I'm definitely gonna need to make my own. And now, the real question is, do I want to become a VTuber? I know how to do illustrations for the model, and I know how to use Live 2D. Now, I have to be the VTuber. That's right, baby! We're gonna do a VTuber slideshow! Welcome to my debut! My name is Artastic Geek. I am in my 20s. I use she, her pronouns. I'm a part human, part mushroom. I am the mushroom caretaker, basically. And I also am an animation student, so I have two occupations at the same time, uh, which makes me a very busy person. <laughs> you can also call me with several names. Call me Amy, Mushroom Witch, The Mushroom Lady, or The Mushroom Gremlin. I have a lot of likes. Uh, I like hanging out with my friends. I love playing video games. I like watching and analyzing films, um, mostly like animation. Wait, hold on, let me just move my cell right here. Uh, I also love listening to Vocaloid. I like drawing, writing, baking, and building miniatures. Let's move on to favorite media for favorite films and shows. Uh, I really love Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, I think that is the best Disney movie to ever exist. <laughs> I also really like Puts and Boots Last Wish. Uh, I love Older Garden Wall, The Owl House, Frog and Toad. Did you know 
that Frog and Toe has a show? Like, it's on it's on Apple TV right now. Like, it just got released this year. I am not a Marvel person. However, I do love Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. And I also really like Knives Out, Wes Anderson films. I like Robert Eggers films recently, like The Witch, The Lighthouse. And I also love The Boys. For favorite anime, I don't watch a lot, but uh, here are some that I really enjoy. I love Violet Evergarden, uh, Death Note, which is a classic. I'm currently watching Oshinoko, uh, Mob Psycho 100, Capro Bebop, Lupin the Third franchise, and I love Ghibli films. For video games, uh, I play quite a lot. I love Portal. Uh, Portal has a special place in my heart because it was my first exposure to PC games. I am playing Bioshock right now. It's so good. I can't wait to play other games. I love Gris, Rusty Lake franchise, Ori and the Will of the Wisp. I'm playing Persona 5 right now and Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. So what kind of content would I post uh, on my YouTube channel? Uh, mostly art related stuff. Uh, I would definitely post uh, art tutorials or advice uh, and also my art projects uh, like my animations, my speed paints. I can do some art challenges too. Like I, I'm, th I'm having some ideas. I'm cooking stuff up, would definitely do some film reviews and analysis, and like anything that I'm currently hyper fixating on. I might make a Twitch channel? Uh, that's very questionable right now because I've never done streaming, I've never done like unscripted content in my life. I would do like art streams and video game streams. And yes, that is the end of the slide. Uh, Twitch is question mark right now, uh, I haven't made a Twitch account yet. That is all for the debut. So, would I want to become a VTuber in the future? Eh, I don't know, probably not professionally, like I can't see myself being one in the future, but I want to try this out more and get myself more used to this, and I'm satisfied with my current model, so I use this VTuber style on this channel in the future. One thing's for sure though is that I would definitely learn how to use Life 2D, like I think it's a really fascinating program. I want to learn how to rig 2D characters, and I can see a lot of uses besides making VTuber models, such as doing 2D animations and adding the fact that I can use this program on my resume. Thank you so much for watching, if you like this video then give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!